Good morning, South Florida. I'm Andrew Perez in for Eric Yussi. And I'm Alexis Frazier in for JC Burge. Now, right now we're tracking Hurricane Barrel this morning. The storm making landfall in Texas. This is the first main storm of the season here reaching the U.S. And here's a live look for you right now. We're going to show you that out of Houston, Texas. Look at that. Uh, barely can see what's going on there. And we are seeing actually some lightning in the air. The Category 1 storm expected to bring dangerous storm surge, some strong winds and flash flooding. Your weather authority is tracking the storm, but South Florida is waking up to another day under a heat advisory. Julie has the details. Yeah, and it's a Monday morning after a long holiday weekend, so let's get back to work and getting in this type of mode of the heat and humidity. I know it's not easy because we've been under these heat advisories for quite some time. Walking out the door sweating doesn't make it convenient, but it's our reality, so let's get ready for it. Heat indices expected to reach 105 to 110 degrees for two consecutive hours or longer. Again, today we're no stranger to these heat advisories, but you can prepare yourself just like you've done in past previous days. I think we're talking about warm record lows too this morning. 85 Fort Lauderdale, Pembroke Pines, 82 in Miami, which it felt that way. Feels like temperatures well into the 90s this morning as our heat indices will be well into the triple digits as we go into the afternoon. Now, as for storms, the coverage very isolated. If we do see some storms might be a welcome sight, but overall it doesn't look until much of the convection starts till after we see the sun set. So once that sun rises, temperatures continue to rise to the low 90s. OK, let's go to the latest on Hurricane Barrel. As the system made landfall as a category one hurricane, the first hurricane to hit the U.S. It continues to bring life threatening storm surge as well as some downpours. We've got a lot of lightning and thunder. There's a tornado watch box in effect for parts of Houston and the coastal areas of Texas as this system is continuing to bring those outer feeder bands just wrapping around the center of the system. More downpours and flash flooding concerns. The 5 AM advisory is in. It's 80 miles per hour. 6 AM advisory is in with winds of 80 miles per hour. It's moving north at 12. Now the system expected to head towards Houston. It's about 70 miles south southwest of Houston. Texas. I'll have a lot more on our local forecast and a couple more things about barrel coming up. All right, of course, barrel turning in the Texas coast. The storm strengthening once again to a category one hurricane overnight. Residents in the state bracing for that landfall this morning. Overnight, storm barrel re-intensifying into a category one hurricane before making landfall over South Texas. Residents bracing for torrential rain and damaging winds. It will be a deadly storm for people who are directly in that path. Barrel sustained winds increasing to 80 miles per hour. Storm surge warnings in effect with up to seven feet of surge possible above regular tide levels. I always take it seriously. I'm, you know, man, we live along the coast. Some residents urge to get out as others hunger down, boarding up their homes and businesses. Just boarding up, protecting this glass in case we get a little bit too much wind. Experts say Barrel's explosive growth into an unprecedented storm so early in the season was fueled by the Atlantic's record warmth. The storm passing through the Caribbean days ago on its way to Texas, causing at least 11 deaths, ripping off roofs and destroying buildings, many still reeling from the devastation. You found from that um, other essential services is, is, is critical at this point in time. Everything was just flying all over the place. You're looking at um, a tank full of water. And this thing is lift that up and have it swollen in the air. I have never seen anything like this in my life. Well, Barrel expected to bring 15 inches of rain across parts of Texas, but many are weary of powder, power outages and down trees. Remnants of the storm also set to impact the nation's heartland later this week with flooding and possible twisters. 